I'm afraid I'm going to have to put your dog down. Rover, you're a fat, lazy arsehole who couldn't catch a stick to save his life. Hello, what's that crack? What's the story? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out unlikely, t unlikely things for a vet to say. This is Mock the Week. Let's go. Unlikely things for a vet to say. Come on. Of course your monkey's got diabetes. You've been feeding him Cocoa Pops for 20 years. <laughs> I know it's expensive, Mrs. Smith, but if you want your cat put down, you're going to have to make nine appointments. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm afraid uh, Timmy won't be coming out of hibernation soon, and that's because he's not actually a tortoise, he's a Fray Bentos pie. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut open the stomach of your Rottweiler and hopefully I'll have both of us out of here in no time. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, if only they could talk, I'd be in prison. The bad news is we've had to chop off one of Fido's legs, but the good news is you put roller skates on him, that's three million hits on YouTube right there. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Mrs. Thomas. This is the first beaver I've seen. Now, what pet have you brought in? <laughs> the good news is your snake has survived. The bad news is he's never going to walk again. <laughs> <laughs> well, sir, if you think this treatment is too expensive, I suggest you get your meerkat to find somewhere cheaper. <laughs> ah, compare the meerkat com. Simple. Hmm. Well, yes, your horse is a little bit overweight, but it's nothing to worry about. Oh, it's a dog. <laughs> <laughs> we just had the re, uh, we just had the test results back on the cows, and it's it's not good, I'm afraid. They're ten percent horse meat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid it's dead, Mr. Forsyth, but I would say maybe you shouldn't have kept it on your head for so long. <laughs> Do you know what? Do you know, I have a good one, I have a good one. I think it's a good one, I have a good one. Okay. <clears throat> I know your dog is dead, but look on the bright side. You got free meat. It's, it's, it's dark, I'm sorry. It's dark, I'm so sorry. For all you dog owners, I'm sorry. It's a joke, it's a joke. Let's get back. I'm not a comedian. I'm afraid I'm going to have to put your dog down. Rover, you're a fat, lazy arsehole who couldn't catch a stick to save his life. <laughs> Mr. Johnson, you spoil that dog. Not only are you overfeeding him, but he's quite capable of licking his own ball. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of that round, the point is going to Chris, you and Gary. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. That was good. I love... I love doing this part of Mock the Week. Just look, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's so funny. It's so funny. You guys told me it's it's finished now. It's gone off the air now. But yeah, it's all a short and sweet. Make sure if you like it, like, comment, subscribe. Check out the Patreon. Check out the membership. Check out the vlog channel. Check out the music channel. There's so much going on, isn't it? I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.